just like the woman already knows when she's going through that nine months pregnancy, that after nine years, oh sorry, not nine years, nine, nine months, <laughs> what, what nine is it? Months. Nine years or nine months? Nine months. Nine, nine, nine months. months. I always I make a mistake. Nine months, she will get the baby in spite of the labor pain. Is she fixed on the result or the process? Result. And because her mind is fixed on result, she is what? Joyful. In the same way, are we fixed on the result or the process? Result. Not sometimes all the time the process. <laughs> so how will the devil beat us up in a game? His, his job is to draw us to the process and God's job is to draw us to the result. So who are the ones who will be worshippers? Whose eyes are fixed on the process or the result? Result. <coughs> is it now making? Yes. Thank you. So when you know the result and you are joyful, now can you draw the power that is in the well that brings eternal life? Yes. Yes. Now what is everlasting life? Eternal life. He said eternal life, everlasting life. What is everlasting life? Everlasting. Huh? Yeah. What is everlasting? Eternal life. Never ending forever. I trapped you. A person who is in hell also is never ending. Lasting life in hell. So what is eternal life? You. Correct. Correct. Everlasting life is when you are all the time connected to Christ. You know Christ. You know God. You are connected to Him. So how will you draw this joy, which is the strength that produces everlasting life? With joy. And where does joy come from? Joy comes from believing God's promises, even though physical evidence is extremely against you, but spiritual evidence is for you. So most of the time in the midst of crisis, are we joyful or stressed out? So, did, are we drawing the water from the well or are we going to the preacher to get some water from his well? But do you have your own well? Yes. Which one would be better to draw water from? Our own well. But we are, we are all the time habituated to draw from where? Other people's well, outside the well. From, from the preacher's well. And that's why when it comes to believing and exercising your faith, what will you say? I can't. But has God given everybody the same will? Yes. yes the same life. Yes. The same everlasting life. Yes. But are we drawing it out? No. no. Why are we not able to draw it out? Because we got unbelief. Yes. So joy comes from believing. Sorry? Yeah, it takes effort. And where's your effort? Your effort is not your hands and legs. Your effort is in your mind. So my young brother, yeah. do you have everlasting <laughs> life to kill that pain in your body? Yes. So are you going to draw it out with joy? I will do my best to draw it with joy. You don't do your best. You just believe. Let the Lord do the rest. The problem is you are trying to do your best. You don't do your best. You just keep believing God will do the rest. Yes? You don't leave, you don't leave it to him. You do the believing part. He will do the rest. When you leave it to him, when you leave it to him, you are saying, I am not bothered, Lord. If you want, you do. If you don't want, you don't. But when you are believing, you are saying, Lord, because I believe, I am joyful. Because I believe, I am full of rest. Okay, tell me what's your problem with your leg? 
my brother I said I said um, when I was then I to no no what's the problem you fell down now what uh, what is I, the problem with your leg I have my hip you know the hip is broken the hip is broken and yeah, and then I have operated upon on the 15th of January So, so you have already been operated for that? No, I haven't. Have so you are going to op they are going to operate you on yes. the 15th of January? And I don't like it. And how much is the cost of the operation? Uh, it's the NHS. If it is outside, it will be about 20,000. 20,000? Yes, if it is outside. If it's outside? Yes. And if it's inside? Inside, that is the NHS, it's free. But so when they operate you outside, in the open, they charge you two twenty thousand. No, no, when they operate you inside the room, ah, privately. Uh, privately. I thought outside, inside. No, and uh, it's a hip replacement. Okay, come on, stand here. Can you take off your jacket? Because for operation, you have to take off your clothes. <laughs> Go on my first. Uh, that way. Yeah. Your suit as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take the video, no problem. No, no, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <coughs> Otherwise, you'll take off your shirt and everything and get ready for the operation. <laughs> okay. And uh, not only that, I have the right uh, prostate. Okay. Which I think. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, 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 shall we fix the hip first? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Now, your job is to believe. I've already believed. Okay? Yes. And you are supposed to believe that. You are going to be healed or you are healed? I from the time I started coming. I know today is the day. I'm not going to. So my question to you again remains the same. Yes. Are you believing you are healed or you will be healed? Already have to be healed. Because the Bible says so. And because the Bible says so, are you going to be joyful or depressed? If I walk well, if you walk well, then you will be happy. Yes. Now, now was Abraham happy because before his son was saved, or after his son was saved? Before. Before. Why was he joyful? Because he has a covenant. Because he has a covenant with God. Do you have a covenant with God? Of course. Praise God. And because you have a covenant with God. Has he promised you that by the wounds of his son Jesus you have been healed? Yes, I will pray that prayer. Yes. Yes, good, good, good. Relax like right. Okay, just relax. And look at Jesus on the cross. Lord Jesus, I thank you, I praise you. Lord Jesus. No, no, no. Just just listen attentively, okay? I thank you, Lord, that this brother understands your word. He has hunger and passion for your word, for your spirit, and to have a deep relationship with you. But he did not know how. Lord, in him is a well that springs forth everlasting life. And the word of God says, with joy, we are able to draw this water from the well. And joy comes through the promise of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us the assurance that all those who believe in your Son, Jesus, we receive your Holy Spirit. We receive forgiveness of sins, good health, because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. O oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I rebuke the spirit of infirmity that has caused this damage. Lord, I ask you to align his bones from the moment he fell down and broke those bones. Lord, you are the same God and right now you are aligning his bones, recreating them, adjusting them by the power of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that the spirit of infirmity that had caused this problem has been cast out and now all the bones by the power of the Holy Spirit are being aligned. Thank you, Lord, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, the bones have begun to align. They have begun to move. Just let them move. Just let them move. Lord, the bones in his disc, the lower disc, right up to the tailbone, get aligned now. Thank you, Lord, for this movement that is taking place right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, move. Bones, keep moving and get aligned. Keep moving and get aligned. Keep moving 